this took a lot of layers. As you can see, this is coat number three. But the color, custom color that I made for this, came out pretty good. Very nice. to cover both sides is a it is a tedious process but you gotta make sure every angle is nice and even I was thinking I had to probably mix more paint but it came out pretty good. I also had to, some little flakes produce itself on top of the layer. And when you remove it, it'll show the prime part, prime color below. So I had to constantly spray, clean, spray, clean, spray, clean. So that way I can cover the whole thing. There's no, you know, no little flaky thingies in there. Some of them I, I can get to. Some of them, that's like in between the guns. It's very, very hard to do. And I don't want to like damage the guns while I'm trying to remove that little flakiness. Other than that, it came out pretty good. Once I'm done, oh, and then of course I have the D's, the guns, as you see. Very nice. These are the big guns, and here are the, whoops, little guns. There it is. Alright. I'm almost done. Almost. One thing about lacquer-based paint, they dry really fast and allows me to move on to do things like removing this tape. I'm doing this cold here, of course, because I don't know if spray painting of the custom color and hopefully covering up all the leftover red parts that was bleeding down took care of, you know, whatever problems I had ever before. Um, Okay, therefore, do that. Probably a wise idea to remove the whole casing, but no, I think it's not. I don't think that's an issue. All right. A little white on the end. Hmm. Maybe I can use a brush and brush the ends of that. Or maybe panel lining it. That'd probably be a good idea. Alright, uh, okay, okay. Well, 
let's see this. Yeah, this one gave me a hard time to put on. I see some leftover paint, but I think I can do is with the hobby knife, I can scrape off a little bit to the edges. But yeah, that came out okay. This one was the one that I had to do a lot of, a lot of these. Why is it that every time I want to grab something, my tweezers are nowhere to be found? And then when I don't need them, I find them. So annoying. Yeah, I put a lot on these. I didn't know how much I'm going to cover. Yep, that came out okay too. Alright. Alright, so... I still have a little bit left over of paint because I'm starting to see some parts that looks like I missed. Around here and here. Yeah, the gun parts is very difficult to do. And I think I may have to spray into the nozzles of the can of the guns as well. Of the main guns. Um, it's kind of hard to do it because sometimes the lighting could, could fool you. Um, but other than that, I think I really covered everything here. I really did. Alright. Uh... Let's continue removing some part, some uh, some tape. See how cool this looks. Sometimes I surprise myself. There are times where I say, what the hell am I doing? 
then there are times I say, ah, oh, shit. There's a little light there. <laughs> I actually did not want to say, but, you know, these things happen. I may have to repaint this part. Yeah, there's too light, too light a Tony. I'm already pulling this. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna re put on a tape later on. But. The end results look gorgeous. So what do you think of that? I should end this video, but not just yet.